Hey everybody, this is Athena, or AMG Plans, and um, I am getting this this filmed early so that I can get it out before, um, you know, like Thursday, <laughs> like I did with last week's. So right now, like basically, today is the 10th, um, and I have some stuff filled out. I really didn't, I wish that I filled this stuff out more, but I don't really do a whole lot with my day. So, yeah. It just, that's kind of how that works. Um, and the yawning. <sighs> so I travel an hour away on Thursday to go do a ADHD study, and that means that I normally don't get a nap in, and I am exhausted. And I think that after I film this, if I can take a quick nap, that would be fantastic. So I am going to film this really quick. It will probably be another talkative video. Um, again, I'm not going to use a whole lot of stamps this week either. Um, I'm trying to use up my stickers. I really am. And in doing so, that means that I need to stop buying new stickers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I went to... Um, I went to Michael's to go and get my friend Danielle some the two sticker books that I know that she really wanted because she's a I got her the glam girl ones the new glam girl ones because she likes cheetah print and she likes all the, the goofy girly colors so I got that for her and I will be sending it off sometime before the 19th because that's her birthday um, I will probably do it tomorrow to tell you the truth hopefully we'll see how it goes anyway I will be doing this one again because um, or the stamp rather just to track my daughter's green stars we had talked she and I had talked about it and um, you know telling her how easy that it is to get green stars and she agreed that it's it's super easy and all you just have to do is, you know, do it. Just don't run in the hall and don't be a jerk. And, yeah. So she's she's gotten green stars a lot um, in the last few weeks. I think she has only got, like, maybe, maybe two or three yellow stars in the whole thing. And that was just because she was running in the hall. And she likes to go fast from one place to another. I don't think that she, um, <laughs> she walks only whenever she's upset about something or whenever she's holding on. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where that stopped, but, um, basically this is, this is what we're doing. This is the, um, the stuff for my daughter's, uh, green stars. She's barely gotten any yellow stars. It is supposed to be really cold this weekend. Um, or not really cold, but definitely not how it is right now. We have, if this is like, you've seen the United States, if you're here. Um, we've got a hot weather system coming in here and a like hurricane and everything doing its own special thing. And then we've got cold crap coming from here. So uh, we're stuck. I live in North Texas and we're stuck right in the middle of it, which really sucks to tell you the truth. So, let's see, where is, um, there were a couple of things that I wanted to put on here, and I, are they, really, is it this one? Because, no, okay, so on the 15th. Um, my daughter has a field trip to go to the pumpkin patch, which is awesome, and I'm so excited for it. I'm going to put it up here because I'm not going to be doing anything that day. I think that it's going to be basically the whole day. So, I will probably also put this down there too. And 
do this. So last, God, last October sucked. And I'm glad that you guys didn't see it. You may have seen it on my, um, on my Instagram. Um, any of you that are friends and family that are watching, I was really in a funk in October. While we had, while we got, we got the house in October. So we've been here for about a year. And, but we, I mean, we didn't have a stove, which was really weird. So I, um, yeah, we couldn't, like, carving pumpkins wasn't even worth it because we had nowhere to bake the seeds. That's kind of my thing. I like eating pumpkin seeds, especially around this time of the year. But, uh, yeah, it just really killed me. I wasn't... I wasn't in the best mood. I really, I didn't even try to dress up for Halloween. It was a mess. So the sticker sheets that I'm going to be using, this is Color Story 4 and Color Story. And it is basically a culmination of all of the sticker books that came out, um this season. And I really, there was no way that I'm getting all the sticker books. There are too many. And to be honest with you, I, I have a lot of, like there are a lot of duplicates or updates and I just don't want all of those stickers. So I love the color stories, um, because then I can just get like, I can get these and be happy with it. But these ones are the ones that I've had my eye on for a little bit. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to be using like the overly tie-dye-ness of both of these. Now I don't know which ones that the stickers actually are. Like what books that they are emulating. But they're pretty. So let me flip through these, and I have flipped through them, but I really want to see what ones will work, because they are very pretty. Here, let me, let me take this back so that you can, you can flip through them with me. I just, I like the watercolor stuff, and I don't know, I know that they have a watercolor, oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we have a, like, there's a watercolor one there, but I didn't really look through it, and if this is what it is, then I might actually get it. I love the colors in here. So there's that one. And I know that it's not really, like, fall vibe kind of stuff, but I'm okay with it. Um... If I like the if I like the summer stickers in the fall, you know, I think that I will use those. So that's Sunday, Monday, or wow, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I might have a different one for um, Wednesday, just because she gets out early on Wednesdays. This is the first actual parent-teacher conference that we've had with Ember. And by we, I really mean me because I was the one that went there. Um, my husband had to work, which is just, it's kind of how it goes. Not a problem. I'm trying to think of what else I can put in here. I might have to use one of the other ones. I think I'll use this one. But anyway, um, yeah, we had a... I went to the parent-teacher conference thing, and that was cool. Um, and my suspicions were kind of confirmed that Ember's getting a little bit bored. And it, it's not a bad board, but it's kind of one of those things of she's either getting her homework done, like she's she's completing her homework, completing her work, and then getting bored afterwards. Or it's it's not enough for her.
So because it's not enough for her, um, she colors and doodles and things that I used to do whenever I was growing up, um, whenever I was in school and I was bored. And the, the teacher basically asked, you know, well, what do you, how often do you work with her with stuff? And as soon as she could talk, we were making sure that she knew what was going on, you know, that she knew her colors, we would use her blocks and, you know, she would name the colors or it's just, it's things like that. And I had realized, or I didn't realize it until her teacher had said something that a lot of kids that go into kindergarten, this is the first time that they've ever even like lifted a pencil that they've ever written their name or written any letters or even talked about numbers and colors and everything. So Ember is way ahead of the game. And, um, we didn't talk about the, the gifted program because if you've ever, if you're, if you were a kid in the gifted program, you know how, how hard it is now because you were told how awesome that you were, all the achievements that you were having, and they don't mean dick in the real world. They don't really mean anything here. Which sucks. <laughs> to be honest with you, it really sucks. So, um, yeah. It was one of those things of... I would... Uh, her teacher had asked if she could be given more stuff. You know, she likes to be given a job. She likes to be, she likes to be doing things. She really does. So I had said, yeah, do whatever, God, whatever you have to do, get it done. Cause I know that she would really enjoy that. And I would enjoy it if she came home happy and fulfilled that, you know, what she was doing was making her happy. If that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. I, I really enjoy that Ember is doing well. But it also kind of scares me because... I mean... We won't... I really don't want to look into the gifted and talented program until after she's older, like at least in third grade, so that we all kind of know that, um, I guess that we all kind of know, she'll know all of the stuff that she needs to know before she really gets into... I had a thought process and went away. Um, she will know what she needs to know at the beginning level, like how to how to write certain things. If she were to get bumped up into a second grade thing, they're not learning the same stuff. And, ooh, I think I'll do that. And with, you know, third and fourth grade and stuff like that, it's a little bit less, like... They're starting to learn history and geography and things like that instead of life lesson-y stuff that you need to know. Because she knows how to read. Uh, she's actually reading at a higher level than I think, well, obviously, than the rest of them are. Because she she loves to read. And it's just, it's concerning as a parent because I don't want her to dumb herself down. And I also would like for her to succeed in school. And yeah, there's just, it's a mess, man. I want her to be happy in school. I don't want her to have what happened to me happen to her. Where, and I know that <laughs> if my mom's watching, she she totally understands. But she also knows that um, I talk about this a lot because it's the one thing that happened to me. Where I... I was learning cursive in third grade, like by third grade. And that was the thing that really shut me off was because my teacher had said, we're not learning that now, so don't ever do it again. 
Now, if she had said that it's too messy, you need to practice more at home, maybe wait until fourth grade to put it on paper, that would have been great. But keep in mind that I'm 32 and teachers were a little bit harder back then. <laughs> My kindergarten teacher was awesome. My other teachers were eh. So, yeah, I just, it's one of those things where I don't, I don't want her to feel like she's ahead and then have to dumb herself down to, you know, get, get where everybody else is. I really don't want that because it's so hard for girls to get out of that once they feel like they need to dumb themselves down. And I see her doing the cutesy ha ha ha, I don't know, but I really do know kind of thing. And it bugs me. It really does. And I wish it didn't, because I know that she's just being cute. But if I keep telling her that that's okay, then she's going to keep doing it. And I really don't want her to. I'm just putting random stuff up here. I really like the watercolor thing. It's very pretty. I like the colors. Um... Let's see. Yes. Okay. Really not sure what else to put. <laughs> Which seems to be the thing after I like toss some stickers on here is I don't know what else to put. So where did I put the marker? Okay. Um. Okay, so pumpkin patch, and I've got her stuff. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I really need to, like I said before last week, <laughs> like I said last week, I really need to get moving on this editing stuff. I really, um, I need to, I need to do the thing, because it's, yeah. So I think maybe these next couple of days I'm going to be hiding in here in my office making sure that stuff gets done. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> um, I need to, during the weekend, I think whenever my husband, whenever I know that my husband doesn't have work in the morning, I really think that I am going to like take some cold medicine or whatever because... Melatonin, taking melatonin doesn't work for me. I wake up randomly in the middle of the night and then I'm awake. It's like taking a nap. All of that tiredness gets locked into a couple of hours and that's it. I've been waking up at one o'clock wide awake and it sucks. So I think what I'm going to do is during the weekend, which would be this weekend, <laughs> this is, this is the weekend, um, right now, I think I'm going to like take some sleep meds or whatever, some cold stuff, something to knock me out for the whole night. That sounds great. Because I really want to get some stuff accomplished. And me being tired, me wanting to drop her off, come home and go back to sleep isn't working. I mean, it's, it's working, but it's not working. It's really messing with my day. And I need to stop that. <laughs> so... Hopefully, yeah, you can barely see that, and that made it worse. <laughs> so yes, hopefully, um, I'll be able to combat this tired thing and, you know, sleep. I think that if I sleep a couple of nights through the night, it might really help me. I love how this looks, by the way. I'm looking through my, my phone, my camera on here. It's just, I don't like gold. But I like the shiny. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I don't have a lot to put in right now, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. We are getting closer to Halloween, which I'm really excited about. And then, um, for those of you that write, we're getting closer to NaNoWriMo. Um, 
whenever we do that, my planner is going to shift and be geared towards NaNoWriMo, so you'll be able to see from a planner's perspective how that's going to work. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any, you know, questions, concerns, things like that. And I will see you again next week.